Yes, it looks tricky, tricky. We have negative three times the absolute value of 2x plus 4. That plus 8 equals 5. So what do we do? First, we subtract 8 from both sides. Treat it just like we would a regular old first degree equation. So we have negative 3 times the absolute value of 2x plus 4 equals negative 3. A lot of you are worried. You can see a negative on the right-hand side. You're like, oh my gosh, something's funny. Okay, guess what? We're going to divide both sides by negative 3 to clear this negative coefficient here and from the absolute value expression. So guess what we have? 2x plus 4 equals 1. Oh, okay, we can do this. and We'll probably have two solutions. Yeah, you're right. Okay, cool. So we're talking about the A side and the B side. Okay, so for the A, we have 2x plus 4 Oops, equals 1. Please read that as 2x plus 4 equals 1. I'm just going to work this one out. Uh, subtract 4 from both sides. Oops. I have 2x equals negative 3 and no space whatsoever. So we have 2x equals negative 3. Divide both sides of that by 2. I have x equals negative 3 over 2. Barely visible, I know. Please forgive me. Okay, the b side. We have 2x plus 4 equals negative 1 or other option. So we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. What happens there? We have 2x equals negative 5. Then what do we have? We have 2x. We want 1x. So we divide both sides by 2. And then we're left with x equals negative 5 halves. Another example where x in an absolute value can actually equal a negative number. Just that whole expression has to equal a positive. Just like so. Oh, what? oh, sorry. By the way, I should have left my absolute value bars here. Please forgive me. Go back in time and fix that. Okay. So, and again, we're going to say for our final two answers here, it's going to be x equals negative 3 over 2 or x equals negative 5 over 2. Done.